Hello everyone. Sorry it's a little bit late today of the video. I'm just a little bit tired today. So yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, um so this video is gonna be what if Deku was in Undertale. You if I am still going to continue my other series of what if Deku was in a world where only females have quirks. And what if Deku was Grimlock, so I think, I, yeah. Like, I am still going to continue that series. But this one, I think, yeah, I think you might like. What if Deku was in Undertale? If, if you're going to say, is Deku going to be in the reincarnation of Sans? Or, you know, um... Frisk, Chara, or is he gonna have the powers? No, 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 no. He's gonna be different. He's going to have a quirk. And judging from what you see on the screen, yes, that is what he looks like. He is a green little bunny. I'm going to make him... I guess, uh, um, okay, I'm, I'm not, all right, so, he had a family, but the mother is not Inko, because I'm never going to do Inko bad, because, yeah, throughout the other series, and what ifs, and texting stories I've seen, they always either make, make her the terrible mothers, like, the terrible mother of history, and I don't like that. So, yeah. So, it's going to be a different family. So, yeah. When they first looked at Izuku, they were disgusted. Because... Because the world kind of, like, respected mutation quirks, but this family doesn't. They do not like it. So, they put Deku in a orphanage. The kids were nice there because, you know, Nick was fluffy and cute. Same thing with the people who owned it. Until Deku kind of got old enough, he doesn't grow. He just stays small. Probably the exact same size of maybe Mineta, maybe? Because... Yeah, maybe maybe the size of a what can I use? What can I use? Um uh Give me a sec. Um huh, maybe a size of a uh cuz I want to make him short but not so like not the size of a uh, a guitar maybe. No, 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 not a He's twice the size of Mineta, so imagine like you stacking a Mineta, like Mineta on top of himself. That's how big he is. So twice the size of him, a little bit. So Deku wants to explore, like, and the orphanage is close to the mountain of where Undertale is. So. Deku decided to climb, or, you know, wanted to search. Because he heard stories about monsters, and he wanted to go see if they were true. The orphanage know that he can take care of himself, since, you know, he does train. He may not look it, since all that fur, and how he feels. Like, I'm gonna say, like, some little kids are there, like, four-year-olds are there, and they like to huddle up with Deku and go to sleep on him. Because, you know, he's fluffy. Who who doesn't want to have, like, a really soft uh, body pillow? I don't have one, but I wish I had uh, something soft to go to sleep. I have a soft pillow, but it's too big. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah. So, Deku going up, he found a hole that he won't, he's seen. He is technically on the edge. He was about to go back until the floor under him cracked a little bit, making him fall. 
And when you finally fall into the yellow flowers, into there, you saw Flowey. Flowey practically gave, like, you know, telling him about the love pill, uh, love pouts. I forgot what they're called. White bullets, maybe? Uh, pellets? Love pellets, maybe? Yeah, love pellets. Him explaining about the little, the LV called love. I'm gonna, wait. I'm gonna do my impersonation of Flowey. Hopefully it won't be that bad. I hope. Hello there, traveler. My name's Flowey. I see you took quite a fall from there, huh? Well, howdy. I'm Flowey the Flower. Flowey the Flower. I, so I feel like I sound like a cowboy. Like, yeehaw, I'm Flowey the Flower. Gain a wriggle up some cows, hmm? Yeah. Do I sound like a cowboy to you? Please put it down in the comments if I do. Okay. So, practically, Flowey uh, explaining of, you know, the love pellets. Until Flowey kind of got uh, mad because Deku didn't, tr like, I'm going to say Deku is a little bit trustworthy. He trusted Flowey and got hit purposely. Until fin uh, Flowey tricked him. About you fool! In this world, let's kill or be killed. Die. I'm sorry about my voice. I'm really sorry. So as Flyaway was moving the his pellets of death close to Midoriya's green shaped heart, because it's not red since it's green. So yeah. Until. Toriyo came in and, yeah, threw a fireball. And, yeah. Like, you know, Dungeons and Dragons. Midoriya is still kind of like a big fan of quirks. Since, you know, yeah. Midoriya was amazed of, you know, Toro's uh, firepower, literally. And... You know, Toriyo coming up like, Hello, my child. I'm sorry about that nasty flower. I can't do girl voices. I can't. I'm hoping I can get a voice changer soon, so that way I can. Because I gave up on doing impressions of girls' voices. It feels like I'm mocking them, but I'm not really. I hope. Wait, am I? No, no, I'm not. Jeez, I'm even confusing myself. Okay. Alright. So, Toriel practically, um, like, you know, you know, explain the world of Undertale. Practically giving a tour of the place. It all being nice and stuff like that. You know, being Goat Mom. Yes. Yes, I heard this from somewhere. Goat Mom. And if you want, uh, comment down the ship. Like, you could be someone from Undertale or, you know, uh, My Hero Academia. Like, I could do Miracle. You know, yeah. And, or someone from there. Because the only two girls I know are from Undertale is either Toril, Tor, 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 Toriel. Yeah, I think. Man. Uh, Okay, and Frisk and Chara. They say they're genderless, but I count them as both boy and girl. So, probably one of those three, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah. I, I'm just not totally sure. I, I only know th those, those three characters from Undertale, and yeah... Anyways, let's continue. So, Midoriya kind of walking around through the corridors of the temple. Until they finally reach the house-looking place. Where Toriel, until Midoriya noticed a girl. 
her name was Frisk. Frisk kind of being surprised, thinking, it's another monster. You know, not that type of monster, like, you monster. Like, you know, they're all monsters, so yeah. Kind of like demi-humans a little bit. But, you know what I mean. Toro being surprised, thinking, oh, he's so fluffy. Toro practically pounced on Izuku and started, you know, yeah, like, petting him, messing with his ears and tail. And messing with his fur since he's so fluffy. And that he's so small as well. Remember, he is practically twice the size of Mineta. Because he's, uh, he's going to have a rival core, like, downgraded from Mirko. But he's going to have the looks. So, yeah. And, you know... He, you know, Midori kind of liking him because he's being pet before. So he likes pets since, you know, yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know. And whenever he gets excited, he basically, you know, uh, taps his foot really fast. So, like, I don't know if you hear that, but it, this is what he's doing with his feet. Like, one foot, I mean. But really faster. Frisk noticing his, his foot doing that, I thought it was even more cuter. And, and Toriyo kind of giggled at the cuteness a little bit. So yeah. Until it was time for them to both go to bed. Like, you know, them having their day. Toriel kind of like, you know, reading them, uh, like, a book. And teaching them how to cook as well, like, pie, I guess. And, you know, the next morning, when they woke up, they noticed a pie in the middle of their rooms. Modoria, his favorite food is... Is that, is that a thing? Carrot pie? No. Pie... Uh, a carrot. He does like carrots. But he's a vegetarian. So yeah. He, like, he's a vegetarian. He's, I think he loves katsudon. Still. But he still loves. He's still a vegetarian. Like you know. Like eating his, his, his greens. Literally. Not that. Uh, why did I say literally? Anyways. Carrot pie. Yeah, carrot pie, I think. If there is something called carrot pie, I'm going to be surprised. Because I've never heard of something like that. If there is, I'm surprised. Because there's something called pumpkin pie. I think there's something called carrot pie. And, and Charles pie is pumpkin pie. Because she loves pumpkin pie. And Deku loves carrot pie. Them finishing their pies, walked down to the room and asked Toro if they could explore the rest of Undertale, like the underground kind of. Toro kind of saying, "I should destroy that door so that way they can be safe." And like her going to the tour, uh, Do Deku and Frisk. Jeez, I forgot that name. Frisk chased out the troll, begging her not to, you know, destroy the door. So they had their little fight, like in like in the exact same thing as the game. Kind of, I guess. Frisk dodging. Midoriya goes does go for the attack, but more like, you know, not like lethal bros. Or, like, hurting. More, like, kind of, like, distracting, kind of. You know what I mean? Kind of, like, uh, kind of distracting her a little bit. Like, sending him, like, sending his own, like, kind of tripping her a little bit sometimes. So, yeah. So, they won... Since I don't know how to describe the battle that they had in the game. Since it's all about dodging or killing, I guess. 
But I really don't know how to uh, describe the fights. So, Midoriya and also Friss, you know, going out, saying goodbye, tutorial. But also having a little phone. So that they can always call her. And when they finally entered, they noticed snow and trees. Midoriya not bothered by the cold because he has fur. And he's practically, you know, jumping around, playing with the snow. And, well, Frisk is shivering. Them walking to the the bridge, like, like walking around the, the place, until they noticed a bridge with a very wide gate. Them passing the gate... Really easily. Until they heard footsteps behind them and decided to stop. When the shadow figure came up, they they said, Hey, give me a handshake. Or pull my finger or something like that. Frisk doing as what the man said. Deku being prepared to, like, you know, attack. Until they heard a fart noise when Frisk uh, pulled his finger, I guess. Them hearing the fart noise, they, Deku turned around and saw a laughing skeleton. And the skeleton introduced themselves as he is sad. Sends the skeleton. Nice to meet you. I own a hot dog court. Hot dog stand, sorry. And then, um, like, you know, giving his own advice. Because I don't remember the lines from the game. I really don't... I, I never even played the game. But I'm really interested in playing. I never got the chance. So, yeah. Hopefully I can someday. So I can maybe make a remake of this. So, yeah. So, Sans doing his little puns here and there. Frisk laughing. And Maroya chuckling. Sans so making some rabbit puns, but I don't know if there are puns for rap. Like I think there are puns for rabbits, but yeah, Midoriya kind of being embarrassed, like some of the puns, and you know him laughing about that. Them walking around. So yeah. Until they heard, yeah, Sans. Where are you, you lazy vagabonds? It is me, Papyrus. I think, yeah, that's my that's my uh, way of doing Sans. I mean, Papyrus. Sorry. So back to Sans going on about he is the great. I am the great Papyrus. I'll catch a human and enter in the royal guard. For I am Papyrus, leader of the gods. That sounds like a witch laugh when I do that. Stuff like that. Anyways, practically, first hiding behind a like a convenient lamp. Lord Deku is just standing out in the open since he thinks it's normal since. You know, they're all practically monsters a little bit. Deku not telling Toro or Frisk or Sans or Papyrus that he's, you know, kind of human a little bit. Just a mutation. So, yeah. Uh, like, practically the rest believes that he's a monster, but yeah. So... Except for Papyrus, he thinks he's a human, but really isn't. Excuse me, until... So, when Papyrus noticed Deku, he said... Oh, excuse me. Human! Until Papyrus said, oh no, that's a rock. Until he said, oh. And he says, is that a human? Yes, it is. Human! I will capture you and be in the royal guard! 
Yeah, for I had no great papyrus. I almost said papy my papyrus. Jeez. Papyrus. Yeah. Well, him running off to make his puzzles. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. So, comment down below of what you think. If you want this series to, con like, to continue. So, yeah. Uh, comment down a ship between maybe one of those four, I guess. Toral, Frisk, Chara, or Mirko. Maybe them both, I guess. I don't know. I don't know those three from Undertale. That's it. Something. That, that, those are the only three I know from Undertale. That looks female to me. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. So, yeah. And I hope you... Like, I hope you enjoy the video. So, like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. And comment down below of what I should do and what stories I should do. So, I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you are, boy or girl. Goodbye, and have one of the best days ever of your life. Goodbye.